So teclistamab is a bi-specific monoclonal antibody targeting BCMA that has been evaluated and recently published in a cohort of relapsing on refractory myeloma patients after a median of six prior lines of therapy, and 80% of the patients were refractory to the conventional three drug classes, uh, proteasome inhibitors, immunomodulatory drugs, uh, as well as anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. Talketamab is uh, an off-the-shelf drug that uh, cover the unmet medical need we have uh, in these uh, triple class uh, refractory myeloma patients because overall uh, the overall response rate is over 60 percent uh, with some patients achieving vgpr and even a complete response in addition in terms of uh, safety profile cytokine release syndrome is uh, present in over 70 percent of the patients but uh, mainly grade one and two in most of the patients some patients develop the neurotoxicity, but definitely in a very low frequency and are very well manageable. Cytopenias are also observed after the clistamab therapy, but basically restricted to the step-up dosing and cycle one and cycle two. We don't have any information yet about the durability of the response, although it's to that we have the opportunity to see how response deepened over time. And from the pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic point of view, we know that there is an activation of the T lymphocytes, indicating that these T lymphocytes are going to be redirected into the tumor niche, resulting into the killing of the plasma cells. If we consider Consider all this efficacy and safety data, the clistamab targeting BCMA is a relevant by specific monoclonal antibody we can utilize for the triple class refractory myeloma patients today or in the near future when the approval occurs, but in the future, the clistamab will move to earlier lines of therapy as a single agent, but maybe also in combination with other by specific monoclonal antibodies or anti CD38 monoclonal antibodies, or maybe in combination with immunomodulatory drugs.